Now, taking a look at uh, episode 6 here in the American Legend Pass in Asphalt 9 Legends on the Nintendo Switch. And going through each one of the quests and kind of where's a good place to get them or where some of the tricky ones might be like, yeah, kind of easily explain a small bit. And yeah, it's a pretty cool one to start here. Finish races in multiplayer. So uh, what I will likely do for that one is uh, do that as a part of a live stream in a small while after I finish recording the rest of these. So if you're watching this, it will come out after that live stream. And yeah, hopefully we had some good races. And yeah, that is the starting one to this. Finish 40 races in multiplayer. Pretty good fun, really. Just play the game. Now, so regarding grind in this episode, there's only two quests for it. So reach top three in a race in Scotland. Uh, for 99 legend pass points and then finish in first place in Cairo. so yeah as always i'll put markers down below to uh the different like uh quests when i'm doing them and yeah we'll like get some of these um gotten in those 30 second stages there's usually fairly handy ones to be had for each one of these open 20 carrot packs so that's just open 20 of anything that's got a random reward inside there or stuff from the store as well will count for that but yeah things like car hunt and stuff is usually a good way it's just anything which can give you a reward which has either like import parts or credits or a blueprint inside there will count as a carrot pack it doesn't have to be purchased apply for import parts and I actually have four pretty awesome import parts that I want to apply so yeah definitely check out the cars which get imported up in my garage on this mission because yeah I have some really nice import parts to apply five 360s in a single race using a dodge it doesn't even need to be 360 kds it just needs to be 360s that's 99 legend pass points absolutely free and one quest complete 100 seconds in canyon launch in a single race us midwest it's just a case of finding where that's going to be available to use with the ford gt ford gt is currently in game as a car hunt so that really helps because the ford gt comes up in another one of these quests as well so make sure you at least unlock that car not an amazing car, but at the same time, definitely one that you want to unlock at some point during this week because it's needed for a couple of these quests. Now, using a Ford here, you need to get three knockdowns. So you can likely do that in the exact same race when you're doing a canyon launch. Just get um, three 360 knockdowns for an extra 200 legend pass points. Nitro bottles in car hunt events. You can either do that one by grinding out the Ford GT over and over again. Or you can just cheese it because yeah 50 nitro bottles you could actually probably get in a single one for those events as well you don't have to actually even finish that race so you could just pretty much find a cheesing point in that and just go back and forth between them until you get dq'd i'll show that what i mean during this video we have perform six bar rolls in a single daily events race it can be class b and c and the thing is the um, Grand Sports uh, Car Hunt is actually involved in this season pass as well. So what I might do is get my six barrels in a run of that car hunt. May not be the best run because if it's going to be the first one where I go for the six um, barrels. But yeah, we'll see what I can do with that with the, uh, yeah, like I said, the Corvette Grand Sport. But the only things you have to watch out for there is it has to be inside a daily events race and has to be using a B or C class car. 100 seconds in subway surfing in a career race using the 4GT so again make sure that you get that 4GT from the car hunt if you don't have it already otherwise the New York races are all inside in one section of career so I'll go and show exactly where that can be found 100 stunts in the 4GT again so definitely you're going to miss out on an awful lot of legend pass points here if you don't get that car but let's get started here with this open card packs because I have a feeling I can just instant do that uh, with, yeah, one of the events which is complete here. So if I go in here, I'll be getting nine card packs for this. And yeah, I'm pretty sure each one of these should count because they're individual pieces. And if I come back out, then I have my uh, multiplayer rewards for the SSC. And I think there's some card packs to be had here as well, possibly. Oh, it's just two body pack kits. So that's not going to quite cut it for the 20 packs. Uh, let's see. Do I get any cool? No and no. <laughs> but yeah, it is as easy as those type of packs. Like you can have them even just sitting in your garage and waiting up. Like those ones will count towards it. So yeah, that's 12 of that to have done already just by clicking and getting those rewards. 
I'll just finish that off as I complete any of the rest of these quests, that one's going to get done. Going to take a look then at the pick up 50 nitro bottles in the car hunt event. That one should be quite easy to just cheese incredibly, incredibly fast. So straight in here, car hunt forge GT. And like I said, this isn't even one where you need to win the race. So it's going to be, um, yeah, just a case of picking a car. Now I'm also going to pick the actual forge GT here so that I can spam out a couple of stunts for this one. I'm not going to get the um, max amount of stunts in it, but I am just going to do a couple once finding somewhere. And like I said, this needs 50 uh, nitro bottles. Uh, rolling waterway is the one with the drop down, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, what I'm going to do is just find somewhere where I can get the, the two nitro bottles and then just spam that out to uh, collect those as fast as possible. Because, yeah, this is a short enough track, but I don't want to be, like, doing <coughs> this over the uh, next... Uh, yeah, I don't want to be, like, doing multiple over and over runs of this just to get that um, mission complete. I'll just do this in one go is probably the fastest way. And, yeah, obviously it's going to cost me a one ticket. I'll chuck, chuck in a stunt or two here for the uh, for GT. And let's see, I'm pretty sure there was a point up here which had the, uh, yeah, two together. So I'll drop behind the group a small bit. But just put the car in here and as long as you're moving in the uh, a circle like this, it'll count as, uh, yeah, it won't reset you. Like if you just kind of like reverse back and forth or so, or just stop on the path. And yeah, each one of these is going to count towards that um, 50 total that's required. And yeah, it doesn't need you to actually finish the race. It'll just, uh, yeah, like it's just a case of get as many of them as you possibly can before. Yeah, you're getting DC'd and DQ'd because of the fact that it's like obviously a short enough car hunt you don't get a whole load of time with it but yeah you can see there straight away how many was that gotten from a single run it's already halfway complete so yeah that's definitely gonna just take one more quick blast of doing the exact same thing for that now and that's the second run of that so you get about one minute and five to one minute and ten seconds before you get dq'd but two runs of and that and doing that little spinneroony are perfectly fine to get the uh, yeah, mission number one complete from this one. Now, as soon as I'm at the Forge GT, I may as well look at the Canyon launch as well as the stunts here. So I already have 16 stunts from just those two runs, but we'll go for Canyon launch in the, um, yeah, the single race here. And also, we'll see about 360 knockdowns in a single race. So might be able to tie the two of those together, but yeah, definitely I'll go for the um, Forge GT missions next. Whoops, I <laughs> I went back in there to get one other car pack run actually. And yeah, hit the barrel rolls on that with the um, 4GT to get some stuns. And yeah, I actually managed to get the perform six barrel rolls on a single daily race that way. So accidentally did that during the car hunt for the Ford GT using the Ford GT and yeah, hitting barrel rolls just to get those stuns. So whoops. <laughs> Now, for Canyon Launch, though, uh, you can come in here to American Blaze, and it's the very, very first track. That's one of the ones that lets you use the American car. So your Ford GT is right there, right to rock. And yeah, so we need 100 seconds in this, and I am just going to be trying to swing out for the 360 KDs, which will count as stunts, as well as 360s, which are also stunts. I should do okay on this canyon on stage though. Like, I think it's, was it 100 seconds? But most of these are fairly, um, yeah, forgiving. It's just because of find a track and go for it. So I'll definitely be going for that uh, 360KDs in this one. So three 360s in this car, as well as the time. And also spamming out a few more stunts here because, <clears throat> yeah, I did one race in between these uh, again for the uh, card pack so there's a 360 based knockdown at the start of that Ooh, 
it's kind of cool as well the fact that like any knockdown on the um ai is going to always count as a stunt in this game because yeah that is just one of the things which like i said it just happens to count as a stunt 360 up off of this just in case you encounter anyone in the air uh, no, the AI here are going to be a bit on the slow side realistically because yeah, this track is um, Fairly early on in the career. So what I might do is go for those 360 KDs on the um, Yeah, the surfing New York stage instead because I think the rating required on there is a lot higher but yeah, I can definitely pick up the last of my stunts on this one and gun it for the time in this yeah like a fairly cool us midwest course i i do i do actually kind of like the ford gt it's just it's a weird one it's definitely a car that takes some getting used to the way it handles it, even with its like buffed handling that it got a couple of patches back it still really doesn't um handle too much with skids and kind of yeah being like thrown around corners and such but yeah, that's a 124 time on that. Get my stunts clocked up a small bit there, I think. An Arco tier 43, some Bailey Blade blueprints, and get my, oh, that 360 knockdowns in a single race uh, complete. That's pretty cool. And yeah, the other one done as well. Ah, uh, Bailey Blade blueprints. <laughs> Why is that on tier 43? <laughs> oh, cool. And. There we go, perform a 100 stunts and get us more Stingray blueprints and some blueprints for that cool looking Corvette C7. So subway surfing then in New York and the Ford GT. So it's gonna be in, it has to be career again. And like I said, those New York stages only show up in the Stars and Stripes area here. And you'll find that at stage number six in this um, part of the career then. And yeah, just jump straight into that for GT. Now we have one minute and 40 seconds, which is an excessive amount of time realistically. Like these quests normally are just a case of find the race and have the car. And then like you should be okay. Like uh, did, did, the way that they usually put these in is just to kind of encourage the player to take some time every now and again to take a look into the career and do a couple of stages to unlock the events and like yeah i definitely would recommend that most players should try and at least unlock the majority of the career because there's a load of rewards in there from like import parts to uh blueprints for really nice kind of starter cars as well as yeah there's like loads of tokens and credits and stuff to be earned from it and practice obviously with the various tracks as well because say like yeah, nearly any time when you get a new track comes into the game, pretty much they add in a event to the career, which kind of has the majority of the layouts. And like, yeah, practice on this New York stage is always going to be welcome, I think, by most, especially with places like here. Coming down into this S-shaped corner on all variants of this is to be taken out like really, really carefully because especially when you're coming down a hill on a slippery road surface like that, and yeah the weight of the car will just kind of push you forward into the corners so like yeah just i i really would recommend the players try and get the at least like the majority of the career kind of unlocked and played through just for the sake of yeah just your practice that you'll get on tracks really really is cool and as long as you've got some decent cars ai is going to be much more better Ooh, gotta take this on a little bit tight here <laughs> Because, yeah, the 4 GT does not, uh, doesn't exactly play well with corners. But, yeah, that's 20 seconds to spare on that. So, like I said, it really, really is just a case of find track, have car, drive race. <laughs> oh, that, that for me is actually a new career flag because, yeah, I have not completed this one entirely. But, oh, 494 legend pass points. So, that's tier 44 open for me. Really nice. Now, as I said at the start, Apply for import parts to cars, and that's one that I've been kind of like looking forward to doing. So, since I mentioned it at the start of the video, let's see what we've got as import parts we can apply. So, our Bugatti Chiron right here, and yep, mm, there's import part number 16 into that, and yeah, max, 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 max across the board. Ooh, that's nice to have in the garage. One shiny golden Bugatti Chiron. <laughs> mm. 
Lamborghini Egoista. Hmm, this one seems to be missing a couple of epics too. So let's see what we got for this guy. One here into handling to max that out and top speed. Boom! <laughs> so yeah, max, 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 max across the board. 4,213 rating courtesy of having that ZR1. Got the epic from that last night. And yeah, mm, there is, yeah, my third golden S class. So I've got my Bugatti Chiron and a absolutely gorgeous uh, S class. Yeah, Lamborghini Egoista. And let's be honest, the real king of this game has to be made golden as well. It's just not fair that this is sitting in my garage. So when it comes to completing the quest, I said I'd leave, you know, it's always the best to last. And yeah, that has to be done, obviously, with the Nissan Leaf, <laughs> which I'm going to give it second thing. And that's my mission complete. And there we go. Max across the board. Oh, Three golden kings inside my garage. It's always good to leave the best to last. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I said I'd chuck those import parts, not just randomly across various cars, but so yeah, golding up some uh, kings and uh, the zero emissions, zero speed, and this and leave. So, mm. Now, so for the Perform 5360s in single race using a Dodge, and these card packs as well. What I'm actually gonna make use of for that is just this same car hunt track. And like, you have the Dodge Viper ACR here, which is a pretty cool little agility car. This track doesn't exactly lend itself towards 316 since there is all just, there's three barrel roll ramps on it. But like, you can do this quest obviously on any track. It's just a case of trying to condense them down into as many things as possible. So. You have your um, barrel ramps, which I am going to 360 into the start of, and I'd actually send the car into a 360 um, spin. Now, it's not exactly an ideal way to take any um, barrel ramps, because they're obviously just better to just barrel roll into, but if you are in a 360 state when you come into those ramps, you'll send the car absolutely hurtling forward like that, and yeah it gets you seven 360s in the air there and i am just gonna punch it in for the finish line but that is then just done with like i said like 360ing as the car starts up on those um any barrel ah, AI. Wow. <laughs> oh the ai has gotten so much more annoying in this but yeah again they're just like Oh, I was trying to 360 at the start of that one and fail, but oh, the 360, the AI has gotten so, so annoying in this game. Because, like, they've made it now so that a double tap of a nitro button won't actually pop an AI. Ooh, that's weird. Still actually get one of the packs from this. So, one card pack open, but yeah, that will count as the 360s at least done in a thing. And ah, 8,000 credits, not too bad. There's a 360s done that in a fairly bad way, but yeah. Uh, like I just want to do this one again just to get those card packs as well and knock out that other reward now And that should be uh, yeah one more run of that done for three extra card packs and boom, boom uh, tier 45 unlocked with it. Whoa one new emoji <laughs> Definitely something I'm gonna be using in the future <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> what have we left here then though? It's just the 40 multiplayer races, and I said already how I was going to do those, and Scotland and Cairo to be a grinded out. Class D novice here, right at the very start, has got Rocky Valley, 30 second course, and you can touch drive this, no input with most cars, should be absolutely perfect. Lance Revolution even should be grand. I usually tend to just throw the DS or the Lotus Elise into these, but that's just because I do like those cars and how fast they are off the grid, especially in touch drive with no input. Uh, as for the Cairo stages, then you can come out and find that in Class D Pro over here in the start of chapter two, and it's right at the start for Jazeera Island. Uh, this track, again, it's a very, very short one, 30 seconds. And DSE 10s, Lotus Elite Sprint, absolutely perfect with this. Seven minute refuel time, two minute refuel time. So just cycle these two cars and you could grind it out that way. I'm not gonna do a touch drive for one of these because yeah, it is just a case of touch drive, no input, let it rock. And yeah, that'll be fine for that. 
Now, so I'm gonna just go and hit up those 40 multiplayer races, gonna do my, uh, yeah, uh, as many races in Scotland and Cairo as hopefully show up and that I can come in the top three or win because yeah, that's the requirement on those. And yeah, then I'm gonna grind out the rest of those stages in those two uh, tracks that I mentioned. And yeah, we'll go through the rewards and stuff then and see if there's anything cool at the end of this uh, Legend Pass. Now, that was <laughs> some pretty cool multiplayer races in that stream. Hopefully people enjoyed video on demand version that is obviously available on my channel. And yeah, nil 40 races in that. Didn't get to pop up at the end because the game crashed just at the end of the uh, 40th race. We yeah, had some really cool uh, races. This one right here though is race number, I think is it 20 or 30 in Cairo? Yeah, so that's 20 races done in Cairo as well. And there we go, that is the, uh, yeah, the final win in Scotland as well using my newly golded king of course, for it, which is having trouble on the very first stage of career. Aye. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> but yeah, that's all of the uh, quests complete I think. That is actually 100% complete then. I Yeah, 40 multiplayer races on that stream. And then the uh, 50 races on, uh, 50 grinding tracks isn't too bad for something so late in the season really. Kind of, yeah, dreading a small bit episode seven and eight, because yeah, there's obviously quite a few races that need to be grinded out in those. But get one more blueprint for the Stingray this way. And yeah, that's not too much for moving that one along and each of the actual tier rewards tend to be uh, picked up from this. So get um, some trade coins, the Bailey Blade, absolutely worthless um, blueprint, a few more blueprints for the Stingray that way, as well as some of the um, Corvettes thing, absolutely worthless emoji, and Trade Coin City here with all of the actual customization pieces. Those Corvette blueprints is pretty class, that's like one 10 pack I don't need to buy <laughs> for that car. Uh, Stingray, yeah, within four four blueprints to the next star for that one. A roof for the Camaro ZL1, I'll take one look at that. And one blueprint there for the Bailey Blade. <laughs> that roof for the Camaro ZL1 though, and let's see, is it in any way interesting? The max power one. Oh, that is <laughs> so over the top. God, I love that. Like. It, I don't get why of all the cars to put crazy customizational pieces onto this one was their choice for like over the top looking monster car but yeah I really like the way that thing looks it's still absolutely like woefully underpowered but still at least it looks pretty now well <laughs> yeah or I think it looks pretty <laughs> Just from a screenshot here, by the way, in terms of rewards for things, uh, that was where I finished up in the Elite Grand Prix for the Tri Nemesis. Ninth place, not exactly amazing, but at the same time, in tier one, that was 150 tokens and three customizational pieces. It's, it was a pretty cool event. It's like, it was weird being able to, um, yeah, kind of like infinitely retry the stages. And like, I think maybe players didn't know that because of the fact that the, the graphic in game suggested there was just three runs, but yeah, that's a change for those elite GPs. No key obviously to be had for those, just some tokens, but yeah, I placed there. I was very busy at the time, so I didn't get to actually uh, do some races. Um, a person subbed to the channel there, Soul Shepherd, in 13th place, getting not about 100 tokens, but yeah, Alan Thompson, I appreciate the uh, cool comment on the video and obviously all the support. I should just shout out to, uh, yeah, that person from Fear Factory as well, who, like, that really put a smile on my face. <laughs> as somebody else noticed, I think, that I was in the GP, and yeah, definitely, like, yeah, when I was doing my races, that really did put a, a smile on my face <laughs> seeing that. I was just like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> well, yeah, that was quite cool. I Looking ahead, though, to the um, final two stages there, and uh, yeah, so I just get this uh, low res image, it's kind of the best um, read only kind of one I can find for uh, this thing, but there's not too much on there really that's uh, like bad for the last two episodes looking ahead. Uh, say there is drive a total number of meters there in San Fran, US Midwest, and New York. So different from the race a certain amount of times, but that's basically just gonna be a case of actually, it wouldn't be too bad to find a long track for that. So 
you could just find that any long track and it doesn't have to be win it's just drive in those and yeah it's like 150 kilometers in each one of those uh, stages you do have the purchase items in the legend store 15 on episode 7 so that's just going to take you yeah, buying some bits and pieces from the legend store not too bad but just like for somebody like myself where there's no real useful items inside there that's just going to be kind of looking at buying those 225k um yeah import parts just to cash in for trade coins and the final stage is actually all mostly okay stuff again there's like 45 races in osaka 35 in himalayas and 25 in the caribbean which need to be done but those are pretty fast some card packs to be opened and the rest of it is all just a case of like uh, it's all easily enough doable it's just the only thing there again is you see new york popping up with the ford gt and a ford needed for the perform barrels so definitely like make sure that you've got that ford gt and for that final uh, stage one it needs to be a uh, ford gt at two stars as well so again just farm that out in the uh, current car hunt and yeah, it's one of those things as well where like say for me, I've got four um, tiers here left to get. When those four tiers are done, obviously those quests will turn over and start giving some, what is it, five tokens or so per each one. So yeah, um, I will be looking at pretty much trying to get the hardest um, of those quests done first because it doesn't matter if it's like um, a quest that gives 500 legend pass points or 90 legend pass points, all of them just give five tokens. So obviously it would be more beneficial to do say a 500 one first and then get like five of the 100 legend pass points done because that way i'd get 25 tokens instead of five if i can balance this one out right but i'll have to see if it's possible to uh yeah reach that 50th tier with the next one given the fact that like i said i started off by buying the bundle pass this season given that that was like just five euro extra and having the extra trade coins all the time and the fuel units that's genuinely not the worst purchase i would never advise paying 30 euro for that but if you've had a previous season pass in this and you got as far as that bundle reduction it's definitely kind of like a cool enough idea i think like it's definitely one where i'm not upset that i spent that five euro because it was great in the car hunts or any of the stages for stuff like trying nemesis and things having those extra fuel units early yeah that that bundle pass is a good dlc obviously you still have the problems with like you recommending anything purchased in this game in the current state where you've got unoptimized stages like the ssc event stage number seven which is just a joke and yeah game crashes happening really really undermine the value of the free daily ticket refill when it costs those tickets to launch a race which then immediately crashes so yeah it's definitely it's tough to recommend any purchases ever in this game because of the state of the actual port that the switch has gotten but yeah if you aren't going to buy anything the legend pass is pretty much a no-brainer as the best like amount of actual stuff to do in the game and also guaranteed rewards so you've got like the stingray coming from this as well as several hundred tokens and a lot of customization pieces now obviously for me I've been playing this game for over a year and yeah a lot of those customization pieces get like turned into trade coins but at the same time if you were a newer account there's definitely more to be had here than buying something like 10 euro worth of dlc in the likes of buying um some blueprints for the grand sport or the ford gt now that's episode six in the bag and finished though 100 and yeah it really was fun doing some of those missions especially the 40 multiplayer um stages i really had fun doing that so hopefully uh yeah like missions like that are pretty class where they kind of force your hand into doing something yeah a little bit uh different at least anyway so yeah hopefully people are enjoying these and yeah as always guys thank you very much for the support uh there's a sub button up there over my head if you've watched this far it's likely you've clicked that and there's other videos for me here and here and yeah as always guys appreciate the likes comments and all the good positive feedback but yeah good luck and drive safe guys